Hello and greetings. I'm going to make a video on the website that we have created. And for those of you who are going to start using the website, which is effective immediately, you're going to receive an email, check your spam folder and check your inbox folder for an email from Azure website, A-Z-U-R-E, where it is prompting you to create a password. So once you create, once you create the password, it's going to take you to a website similar to this one. I have created my login ID over here. And once you create uh, that login and password, you enter the website, you're gonna go up here where it says um, attention. Okay, you do attention. And then you're gonna have a client already for you. It's gonna have your client's name over here, okay? So my client is client test, okay? Cause I'm not gonna put a name for, for that client for uh, confidentiality issues. So I'm just gonna put client name. And so I'm gonna start on attention um, for today. Let's say I visited the client today from 8 a.m. until 12 p.m. So I'm gonna start the attention for today. So the first thing I have to do is I have to write a note over here, okay? Something like, uh, it have to be minimum of 50 words. So I'm gonna say BCBA uh, visited client and then put the name and last name in the uh, what setting, if it was in the home, the school, the community, in this case would be the home, and met with client and his mother, only the main caregiver, you don't have to mention the grandma, the uncle, the main caregiver that was present during the session. Okay. And no safety concerns arose during the session. CBA, which is me, worked with client on, and then you're gonna mention here the STOs that you used. If you're a BCBA, you put a BCBA. If you're an RBT, you have to change the BCBA to RBT, okay? The STOs, you could put um, asking for help, asking for attention, requesting tangibles, uh, asking for a break. The STOs you can get from the treatment plan and I'm gonna send you a um, STOs data sheet where you're gonna collect daily data on the STOs that you're running. A minimum of five STOs per session. Minimum of five STOs per session. So we request your attention and requesting for tangible, asking for a break. Waiting for attention, accepting a no for an answer, and so on. In addition, there are, uh, VCBA, and if you're an RBT, RBT work with a client name, just put the client's name on the following acquisition skills. Acquisition skills are, are things such as ABLES, a force, and social skills. In this case, it's going to be social skills. Uh, social skills uh, 15 through 24. Moreover, BCBA use the following interventions. You can get that from the treatment plan, minimum of three, four, five. Uh, you could put differential reinforcement of all the behavior, differential reinforcement of alternative behavior, DRI, response interruption, response redirection, uh, shaping, chaining, all the interventions that you use, you got to mention in there. Lastly, BCBA worked on pattern training and reduction of problem behaviors okay client displayed and then let's say he has a load man equals 12 frequency of 12 uh, task refusal for today was uh, let's say 23 based on the maladaptive data sheet okay um, I think I have a maladaptive data sheet for that for this client right here um, Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm gonna copy th this data and um, well, I'm in the wrong way. Okay, so we got what? A low man here is 13, so you have to match what you put on the maladaptive data sheet. Low man 13. Task refusal here says 25, so it has to match. 25. Then we got um, profanity at 20. And then we have um, off task. Frequency of 45. And then verbal aggression, it was 11. Next session will take place tomorrow in the home setting at same time, probably 8 a.m. I'm done with my note, okay, for 9.14, which is today. I'm gonna save the note. I cannot go next. I cannot go, it's not gonna work until I save the note. Once I save the note, it's gonna, Give me to confirm the note, I have to sign it. Confirm the note. All right, it is confirmed already. So this one is gonna highlight in, in, in dark gray. So it's gonna allow you to go to the next step, next. And now here you have the graphics part. This is the graphics part. So you have to select elopement and elopement was 13. So we're gonna put the value here 13 and save. It's gonna appear a graph over here for elopement. Then we're gonna get uh, off task. Off task, we're gonna put uh, 45. This is the baseline, don't worry about it. Um, well, this, let's put a 30 here, because the baseline is at 40 here. So we're gonna put 30 in there, just assume it's at 30. So I'll make sure that you know, the note is fixed too. And um, then we have, next one down is profanity. Profanity we have at 20 but the baseline was at 10, so, um, okay, let's put profanity here, nine. This is uh, not individualized, so when you get your graph, your graphs are gonna be individualized with the real baseline, so they're gonna have the accurate baseline. This I just did really quickly, so, uh, profanity is nine, save, and we got tassifusol, uh, tassifusol, We got 15 over here. And then what is next? Verbal aggression. This baseline here for this test client is are too low, okay? So uh, it's not gonna be your client. Right, okay. So we save those data and then it's gonna allow you to go to the next step. So you come over here to this bar you have to enter the values for each of these graphs. And believe me, your graphs are gonna have the actual baseline values, not this, this was just a test, okay? So you know, you're not gonna have to be changing these values over here to, to make it work. Next. So it's not gonna allow you to go next until you enter all those values. So once you do that, then it's, it's the part for the documents, okay? Um, this client has STO's data sheets, social skills data sheets, parent signature log, and maladaptive data sheet, okay? So you have to enter these four documents here for today, otherwise the system is not gonna take your visit as finished. So for the STO's data sheet, I'm gonna select STO's data sheet, and I'm gonna go to my folder where I have that client, okay? And that client, I put it on the Jorge, website documents and I'm, I'm saying that I'm selecting the STO's data sheet. I have the STO's data sheet selected here, which I already have on my file. The STO says that 914, I worked on asking for a break, all these STO's right here. So I have this document already saved with data and percentages. So this is the one I'm gonna upload for today, 914, I'm gonna upload that. And then I'm gonna save the attachment. It's gonna show up here, STO data sheet. Now I'm gonna select a social skills data sheet, which I already have in here. I have my social skills data sheets. 
and uh, today 9 14 i work on 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 make sure this matches what you put on the notes okay and you have the criterion one criterion one two one 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 two three two three all right 9 14 2021 i'm gonna select that file and upload it for social skills Now I'm missing my parent signature lock, which I already have over here. I have it here, I'm gonna show you. It's gonna look like this. It's gonna have the date, time in, time out, the number of hours and the signature of the caregiver, okay? It cannot be your signature. It has to be the signature of the caregiver, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead to the file, select parent signature lock for today. Upload it, save attachment is here. So I'm missing only one document, which is the Maladatis data sheet. I have the Maladatis data sheet right here. As you can see, I got 9-14-2021, the client, my name, the data over here, and I'm gonna select that document. And save it. And once I do that, it's gonna allow me to go next. I got the STO, social skills, parent signature log, and Maladatis data sheet. Parent signature log is for those individuals who have private insurances. If you have Medicaid, you don't need this. You should probably have STOs, acquisitions, and matter. that is data sheet without the parent signature log. The parent signature log is only for those individuals who have private insurance. Next. And then the number of hours that I've worked, because this is a private insurance, uh, we're gonna put four because I work from eight to 12, right? I'm gonna save the time entry and say that I put four hours, okay? And then you are able to finalize the attention. Now, this part over here that says the time entry is only for those individuals who have private clients. Those who have Medicaid are not gonna have this. They, instead, they're gonna go straight to finalize the attention. Finalize the attention, finalize it, and the attention is done. If you go to the attention history, it's gonna go to the attention details, it's gonna show your notes, it's gonna show your graphics, it's gonna show your attachments, that I could go ahead and, and download it. It's got, from my end, from my end I can download it and see what you uploaded, and then the timesheet is gonna show you what, how many hours you work on this day. All right, so uh, we're gonna go in the billing through here, so you don't have to send any more uh, billing through the through the email or any more documentation through the email you could do it from the website go ahead and create uh, the login and password for for your account make sure you save the website uh, bookmark it and make it favorite so you go over there use Google Chrome as a browser and you have to enter those things per day you're gonna wait until Thursday to enter all that you have to be per day it won't allow you to do it more than once at one time you have to do one day notes graphs documents our sign it i mean finalize it then the next day you go back and you start a new attention again okay so you're gonna go to attention for tomorrow and then you start on attention for tomorrow and so on all right this is what we're gonna be used to for billing we're not gonna receive any more emails and if you don't have this and you're not working on this payment is gonna be delayed until you do it so I need you to work on this, don't procrastinate it, try to do it during the client's time so you don't have to be doing that at home. Take your time when you finish with the client, do that in their house, finish this and submit it right away so at the end of the week and at Thursdays, you have everything done, all right? If you don't do it, then we, we won't be able to pay you because then we're missing the documentation in case of an audit you know, the insurance is going to ask for the money back. So the website is done. It, it cost me a lot of money, a lot of uh, work into this and thought. So it's created for you. So go ahead and start using it.